The clubhouse is empty. The stadium is silent. Baseball is over in Bridgeport. But while there may not be a team on the field, there's still a Bridgeport Bluefish team off the field that's hard at work. My job is to sell sponsorships, group outings, and pretty much get the, this place prepared for the 2010 season. Anything you can think of we call uh, that's in this area. Um, advertising, season tickets, groups, picnics. Um, there's a lot of different options that we have for businesses. So what whatever, they, uh, whatever they you know, are more interested in, usually we'll go with that. While some work over the phone, Others work on keeping the ballpark clean, safe, and functional. Uh, if there's an emergency at the ballpark, such as a pipe breaking, um, or if there's a fan injured during a game, um, I oversee all of those things, and those things just keep piling up and just trying to stay on top of them so that they don't get built up too much. Basically, just trying to keep this place clean. Um, 5,500 seats, is it, it's a lot. Uh, a lot of people sit back and say it's a small ballpark, but when it's only one or two people doing it, it's, it's not easy. Through it all, they still enjoy playing jokes on each other and having a good time. Well, uh, for our special guests, 21 and over, we have a special birthday party area. It's under the tunnel. It includes 17 kegs and a wrestling ring where you wrestle Mohawk Mike. While booking birthday parties is on the off-season agenda, this type of birthday party is not on the menu. So it's the hard work that gets put in during the off-season that ensures these fish get to keep on swimming. In Bridgeport, Andrew Gow, QNN Sports.